Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Dentec, and today we're playing some more Medieval Dynasty. So, in our last episode, we got the hen house going. I want to keep calling it a chicken coop. You know what I mean either way. Shut up, moaning. Yes, we got the chicken coop, the hen house, whatever it's called, going. As you can see, I've started doing some decorative work around the farm. I had a bit of a panic moment because I'd gone into my storage between episodes because I've just gone and sold, cooked and sold a load of fish because it's getting ridiculous in there now. There was only three animal feed in there. It's like, um, is it all running out? Oh no, what's happening? And then I came back here, just checked. I've still got the 11 animal feed. So it seems like it should go into the normal storage, which is good because this has got limited capacity anyway. But my actual full-on storage is also getting quite full at the moment. It's not great. Oh, it's not great. We're going to have to get trying to... Well, I might have to destroy the original storage. Storages, that's what I want. I'm miles away from resource storage 3. Oh, boy. We may have to go for another resource storage 2 and keep this one here for now. Uh, that's what I was showing you. Yeah, 1300. We're getting quite full. I had to make them a load of firewood again. The logs, I probably need to start turning off a little bit. I did tweak it a bit between episodes as well. Um, I've turned the logs down a bit. I think I'm going to have to turn the logs down a bit more. Holy Christ. How about we turn the logs down... Because st at this rate, they're still getting more firewood. Excuse me. Yeah, they're still pulling logs in. They're still making firewood. So that's 30, 20, 50. 30, 20, 50. It does still balance out. We are still getting a small amount of logs coming in compared to firewood. And what's that? 1.25 and 1.75. So we're bringing three wood in. Per hour, we're using 9.5. Holy Christ. Well, they're going to try and keep up with the firewood a little bit more. I have still got logs coming in. I think 200 is going to do me for quite some time. And I can always swap them ratios back around again. I think it's going to become a little bit more of a micromanaging thing at this point. Uh, excuse you. Chicken just headbutt me. Anyway. What we want to be doing for today's episode. I want to get some more wheat going. So let's go into building. Let's go into farming. Let's go into fields. One, two, three, four. Please give me a four by ten space. It does the ten. Two, three, four. Place that. Now this is all going to need plowing and stuff, obviously. But what I want to do is I want to set my fence up as well. I've not got any sticks. It's stupid. You know what? Rather than going back, let's just grab some. Because I've got next to none in my storage anyway. <clears throat> and I guess I really should plan this field out as well. Um, fields. This one. This is literally just going to be wheat. Yes. Because I want them to be growing loads and loads of wheat. So I can get loads and loads of animal feed. And eventually, as we get going, these will all swap out. And they'll be individual fields for individual things. Wheat. So they're planting wheat at the moment. Right, that dude needs to crack on then. Wait, have I got wheat in here? That's not wheat, is it? That's rye. Yeah, that's fine. Well, they're growing wheat at the minute anyway. It looks like he's already coming up to come and get this sorted. Good man. Grab a few more sticks. We're going to try and get the fence around this. Don't worry. I'm not going to subject you to a load of uh, fence building this episode. I'm going to do it off camera. So I need to get loads and loads of sticks saved up. That's why I've been wanting to swap around the um, the levels and stuff. Oh my god, Luna. What have you eaten? You stink. Sorry, baby, but you do. And we want that as straight as possible to about where the fence post is. 
because I don't really want... Well, I, I do want them gaps around it, actually. It makes it look like there's a way to walk around the field and not trample over everything. So, that can go to there. You can start about there. And you're going to run perpendicular... Parallel? Perpendicular? Wrong word. You're going to run parallel to that. I've left you apparently a monstrous gap there. Is that good? Where would the next field be able to go in comparison to that, actually? See, that's going to leave too big a gap. It needs to be more in the middle of this. Right, that's fine. Just so long as I know. Just destroy this. Yeah, I'm going to get all finicky with this sort of thing. I'll apologise ahead of time. Uh, let's get rid of that hammer because I don't want to accidentally delete something. Right, so you want to come a little bit past the end of the field. That's more like it. That looks like it'd be right in the middle. And you want to go about there. I'm out of resources. Yep, thought I was. Right, let's get some more sticks. Oh, grabbing a handful of stone there as well. My bad. Well, not really my bad. I need stone still. My mine is still getting limestone only, or very little stone, mostly limestone. Can't remember how I've got that set up at the moment, but... I, I really don't need him getting stone. We're probably going to look into upgrading a few of the houses today as well. Well, a house, at least. Because I do want them all to have nice stone houses. I'm hoping, to some degree, that um, it actually slows down the amount of firewood they use. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Hunter's Lodge 2. Yes. I don't actually think we need to build that anytime soon, though. Mainly because we've got plenty of meat coming in to the point where I already don't know what to do with it all. Right, that's the fence there. And you go to there. Yes. So if I get the hammer out quickly, you can see where the fence is going to lie. <clears throat> I really hope you get to plant all that stuff. Um, I have got the lass on being a farmer. Let's take you off that for a minute, because it's not like you're really making any animal feed. Mainly because we've not got any animals. Uh, any wheat or stuff like that? Workshop smithy, what am I looking for? Barn. You're looking for the barn, you idiot. Let's get you as a field worker for a bit so you can help this dude set up and hopefully get all this planted before winter. How are we doing for the fertilizer as well? Because I've not looked at that in a little while. That doesn't seem ominous at all. Whoop. It's still got 115. That is cracking news. I really want gates. I understand Cage's complaint now. I want to be able to pin them in. Or pen them in, should I say, not pin them in. Give me some water. Let's go and get some limestone. I'm absolutely going to need to make yet another hammer. I got through two hammers, I think, just building the bit of fence that we've got at the minute. It's a bit ridiculous. Excuse me. Uh, where are we? Limestone, 200. Stone, 200. You're not doing bad, my dude. Have I got anything to drop off as well while I'm here? Potage. Oh, animal feed. Sticks. Stone. I think this is the lightest I've ever been. Yeah, we're up to 14 animal feed now. That's dead nice. It does concern me slightly. Uh, what, 45 kilograms? 46? It does concern me slightly that if the um, the food is not in there, is it going to tell me they're hungry? It doesn't say anything here, so I'm assuming it's all fine and dandy. Um, upgrade. Right, we're continuing with the smaller houses first. Being as though they're smaller, they deserve the upgrades more so. They don't get to live in a nice big house yet. And I'm considering <clears throat> building yet another house, because obviously we're going to need to keep expanding. Um, building another house and just going and getting just random people in there, not particularly for any jobs. Obviously, the better skills, damn it, that they've got, the better. 
Uh, no, this is the seamstress's house. I could always get somebody in here making me iron hammers. Because then whatever I don't use, which I assume I am going to use most of them. Uh, whatever we don't use, I could always sell because they sell for 70 apiece. I just want to get the mine up and running before we get to that stage. <clears throat> so I've got a continuous flow of iron coming in. And that's all I think I'd get from the mine as well. Just the iron. I wouldn't be bothered about the stone or... I can't remember what else it is you get from the mine. Uh, resources. Uh, salt, iron, and rock. Yeah, I wouldn't want the salt and I wouldn't want the rock. I'm getting enough rock in from by the riverside and from um, my ex excavation shed. And he's only getting like one per hour, although he's probably skilled up at this point by now. Alley up. Wait. She's meant to be holding a baby. Berta. Berta. Your baby's gone. Where is it? <laughs> um, I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. Berta's missing a baby. Why did that only need one? I didn't think it started around this side. Anyway. Wow. <clears throat> we eat through limestone so quickly. And that will be 46 again. I might be able to get a second house done out of the amount of limestone I've got. In fact, I should be able to get a second house done. Yeah, that's it. Jesus. My God. We could end up with nearly fully upgraded houses all the way through the village. That's dead cool. Although, it does leave me at a bit of a loss as to what else to do this episode. It's kind of getting to that point now where... Um, it's not really a waiting game. I just want to be building things, but I don't know what to build because at the minute we've got quite a nice balance going on. Hmm. What else should we build? Possibly another food storage. Possibly an actual storage. Uh, 46. There we go. Why am I overweight now? Because I grabbed 48, not 46. You imbecile. I bet you I end up needing another hammer. Bet you. Because we're just going to keep upgrading until all the limestone's gone. Actually, this will clear out a lot of weight. Because these all weigh one kilogram each. Wow. That house got done awfully quickly. You are all done, aren't you? Yeah. Well, that's all the small houses fully upgraded. On to the big houses, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm having nowhere near enough limestone to get everything upgraded. Absolutely nowhere near. Tap, tap, tap. Get a little tap. Tap, tap, tap a room. What else have we got? Uh, still more. 46, there we go. I still regret this um, pathway I've got up through the back of the houses. It wasn't meant to be like this. I could always try and put a pathway going up through here, like a back alley sort of thing. I did want them like more backed up to each other then. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not letting my OCD get the better of me this time. Because that's a lot of effort to undo what I've already done. Well, at least I'm going to be able to get this house finished. Um, two, three, four. I need two. I need eight more limestone, and then we'll call it quits, because I don't really want a half-done house. Um, um, um. Eight more limestone. Firewood's still going well, and then we've still got that 67 fertilizer in here as well. That's going down, isn't it? They use fertilizer from here as well. I'm sure they do. Wow, my stamina. Please come back to me. There we go. Right, that's all of them upgraded. 
Mm. Now what? Now what do we want? I think we really need to make another food storage. That's come down a considerable amount. I'm not bothered by that. The simple bags, the dude is getting quite good at. <clears throat> Logs were good for. Sticks are starting to come in now. Happy days. Uh, let me get rid of this star. Which I do. We're very nearly there on the mines. Absolutely do not need this yet. We've got way too much coming in. Although I guess at this point I could buy the recurve bell. I don't really want to. It doesn't seem like I need... Oh, we're so close to the pigsties. So close to the pigsties. Now, the farming's really kicking into gear, isn't it? <clears throat> so it was 60-something fertilizer over yonder. Hello, Jekyll. And then in here, fertilizer. Yeah, they're absolutely using it from the main storage. So I don't really think we need that in there. <clears throat> I bet we don't even need the straw in here. Honestly. How over encumbered is that? Uh, kind of a lot. Kind of a lot. Let's move the fertilizer back. <clears throat> there we go. It's good that they take it all from the main storage. I like that. Yeah, I think we're going to build another main storage. Maybe up behind the hunter's lodge? So it looks like they've got somewhere to store their meat and stuff like that. Yeah. Because I didn't want all my storage grouped together in one place anyway. I mean, I don't really like this one being this far out. It seems a bit away from the village, but eventually I'm going to get the tier 3 storage. Delete this one. Eventually I'll probably delete that one as well. Because we can start having some storages, like... In here, maybe. I, I could actually get a storage. It looks like it'd be tight on space, but I could always get a storage in here. End this street off here, because I don't want to go all the way up to the hunting lodge. Bring this behind the back. Let's see. Let's see. Where did my fertilizer go? And I'm getting hungry as well. I'm numb. I'm numb. There's the fertilizer. I guess in that sense. Oh, you've not got any rye in here. You've got flax grain. Although they've not got many flax grain. We probably need more of that. Anyway, um, you didn't run out of cabbage seeds or anything stupid, did you? Carrots, cabbage seeds, no, we've got loads. Because I did actually go and sell loads of seeds off mm, between one of the episodes. Can't remember which one now, just for some extra cash. I was kind of concerned that we'd not have enough to get all that planted, but it seems like they might be fine with it. All right, building storages. I need at least 10 logs. You know we're going to need more than that, so I'm going to bring more than that. Fertilizer, drop the straw off as well, because it seems like they're going to be able to pull that from over here. And logs. It's going to be like 40. I can bring 19 logs at once and not be over encumbered. It'd be beautiful if this fits here, but if it doesn't fit here, then never mind. We'll come up with somewhere else. Uh... Storages, resource storage. Yeah, that is too big, isn't it? That is way too big. Not a chance that's fit in there. Absolutely no way. You know, I could actually have a storage coming up this middle bit. Now, I don't like this because I can't actually... Oh. There we are. I can see it's almost straight at that point. Please be right. That kind of eats into the road a little bit. I think I'm fine with it. 
I don't think I'm fine with it. It needs to go back, doesn't it? Right. I'd rather destroy it now. Uh, yeah, I'd rather destroy it now than building it all up. And obviously, I need 10 more logs now. God damn it. OCD, why? Why? I probably should straighten these roads up as well. It's alright. It's only 10 logs. We've got lots. And we've still got them coming in. It's not like we're actually losing logs. Well, it is like we're losing logs. What the hell are you on about, you idiot? Um, we've still got them coming in. That's a house. Storage. Resource storage too. Right, so I want it straight with this house. Obstacle. Am I too close to the road at this point? I mean, that's fine anyway, because I do want it to be back away from the road. Will you guys stop, like, barging through me, please? He's just put it in the exact same spot. What a fool. Nope, that'll be fine. <laughs> oh, dear. So, I'm going to need a shed load of planks and stuff like that. We're going to try and get most of this built up on camera now. And I will finish it off off camera but this will massively increase our storage again <clears throat> we'll get another thousand on top of this you know i've not checked how many building i've got loads more building space i don't know why i'm being so finicky with these storages i should really just be slapping them down left right and center but i'm really just trying to hold off because i don't want to make a load of tier two stuff only to unlock the tier three stuff and then after Delete it, rebuild it, move it, lose all the resources. New leveling crafting. It's been a while since I've got a level on camera. <clears throat> Finished in cooking. In fact, I unlocked these, didn't I? 10% less stamina consumption. I think we're going to go for that one first, and then I'm probably going to go into builder next. So now, it won't use half as much step. Well, it will use half as much. It won't use as much stamina as it's been using. The last one of these seemed so difficult to build up. With the uh, sheer amount of logs that it requires. But this one doesn't. Mainly because I've got a ridiculous amount. In fact, this is just going to eat through all of my storage as well. Because obviously logs are the heaviest thing in here. We're coming back down to a thousand. It's going to be nice to have the extra space and not have to worry about it. And I still don't understand why we need people manning these. It might be worth... Uh, Having a look and seeing why you would put people in these. I think they're just going to pull resources from the other places faster. If they're manned. But I, I don't know. I just don't know, Captain. Also, I do need to get rid of the workshop. <clears throat> Is the workshop about the same size as normal house? Yeah, maybe I could get another normal house in there. Because the smithy is essentially the workshop. In fact, there's something else I wanted to check for a while now. I've got the level 2 tailor unlocked, I believe. I'm not sure. And also, I need to go and sell all this clay because I'm doing nothing with it. Um, yeah, I wanted to see if the tier 2 tailor, TTT, is the same size as this tailor. No, it is not. Uh, problem. Maybe that's what this space could be used for. Because obviously this is only the smithy tomb. I could delete this workshop. Make a house there. I'm not deleting this yet. I'd probably be able to get a house in that spot. Maybe. Or that might have to go side on. Hmm. Could be done. Possibly. Delete that. Delete that. Delete that. Smithy 3 and Taylor 2. Or Taylor 3 across there. Where am I going? I'm just trying to plan the village out. But I did say quite early on in this series, if it gets to the point where I'm getting enough resources in that I could quite happily rebuild and restart the village, I might do that. It depends how interested I am in the game at said point. It's quite a few times with games like this, I come up with these grand schemes that seem brilliant, and then when I actually get into them, I lose all interest in the game. Not that the game's bad, it's just that my attention span is apparently that of a child. 
But we'll see. We'll see. In fact, looking at how fast we're making this, we might actually get this done before the end of the episode, which I didn't expect. Although now comes all the planks and stuff. Oops. Logs. Logs. Let me through. 6, 12, 18. Yeah, it'll be third. Damn it. I can grab 18 logs at a time. Let me just grab 18 logs. I know it's getting dark. Apologies. I'll get the torch here. Uh, I had one log left on me. Did I not? I've got three logs left on me. Fair dues. Let's grab 15 of those. Let's go turn them all into planks. See, I'm still getting massive amounts of skill points just by building stuff because I'm having to turn it all into planks and stuff like that. Buildings across there. I could have a road going across the back here, but I'd want to get them two buildings in there before I did a road across there. And then I could have a row of houses across here. Maybe the big houses. The tier three ones, once I get there. I don't know. I don't know. Why am I in here? In fact, is there anything in here while I'm in here? Meat. That's because the storage got filled up. Nothing in there. I know, I'm whizzing around a little bit quick. I'm just... Uh, Curious. Right, that's a load of planks being made up. I should really get them slowly making planks up as well, I guess. Might be better getting yet another log shed, though, going. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I could just turn the logs down a touch more and very slowly have planks coming in. Because these dudes are getting very good at their jobs at this point. So they're kind of good at multitasking. They're gathering sticks, they're uh, gathering logs, they're cutting logs into firewood, and then they'll be turning logs into planks all in one fell swoop. I wish I could multitask to that degree. Holy Christ. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, really enjoying Medieval Dynasty. Just getting to that point now where I'm not quite sure where to go next. Obviously, we're going to keep a focus on the farming for now. And I'm really hoping that I get enough farming points to get the pigsty soon, because that would be dead cool. I am definitely going to need a couple more people to help out with the farming, especially as we increase our amount of fields and stuff like that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to go and find a few more farmers. But saying that, we have got all the kids, and obviously they're going to grow up. We probably need to take note of their skills... And obviously all the mothers are going to start having kids and that's going to throw a spanner in the works because then I'm um, going to have to reshuffle around everybody doing all the different jobs. I could even get a food storage up here next to this. I really want the tier 2 one though. Oh my days. And I bet you I've not got a stick either. See how quickly we get through these hammers? I need somebody making me hammers. Oh, and while I think about it. Not built. Thank you. Thank you for that. Right, while I can't see numbers, I'm not doing that. And hoop, hoop, hoop. I bet it's some nice XP for making iron tools. <clears throat> I guess it'll get to a point where I'm making iron arrows as well. That'll be a nice amount of XP. And... Give me a hammer, not a pickaxe. Don't think the pickaxe is going to help me build this. Hmm. I seem to have overshot it with the planks. Excuse me. Only a little bit. Yours. And another storage. Two and a half thousand. Oh my word. Uh, let's put them planks in there. I think we should go and have a nap. And then we'll just have a quick look around and see what we want to do in the next episode, I think. And yes, I have had this torch for absolutely ages. Sorry, wife. Hopefully I didn't wake you. Let me out. I couldn't tell you the last time I spoke to her, which seems mean, but... Right. 
Feathers are coming in nicely. Like I say, that clay absolutely needs selling. They need selling. This needs selling. Animal feed is going nowhere at the minute. It's to be expected. Um, 45 kilograms worth I can carry. Damn it. I've got 45 and a half. There we go. Yes, I'm going to go and sell all this between episodes. So, next episode, what do we want to do? How is my farming skill coming on? Are we getting close? 229.949. I need 20 points to unlock the pigsty. Maybe I'll be able to do the pigsty next episode. Because obviously I'm going to be doing a few things between episodes. We might get the skill points. So, possibly pigs failing that. I don't know. I'll just have to come up with something, I guess. But that is going to be it for today's episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like to see some more, I need to have a drink or I'm going to die. All comments and feedback really appreciated as always. And also, I stream live on Discord. So if you want to watch these episodes as they're being recorded, feel free to join my Discord. Come watch. The link is in the description below and on my outro screen. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.